Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to control the onboard LED on a Raspberry Pi Pico. So it comes in this little package thing, or at least mine came in one. And today I want to let this small LED blink, this one above my fingernail. And to do that, you will need a Raspberry Pi Pico, of course, and a USB cable, which you will plug into your PC. But before we plug the USB cable into our Pi, we will install some things on our PC. We will first need to install Thony, the Python IDE for beginners. Just hold, uh, hover over this button and download this link. The installer or if you need 32-bit just install this one whatever you need after you're done you can start the software let's go and here we have the IDE okay to test it we can just print a little text and you can see it returns hello to connect our Raspberry Pi with the IDE, we will have to configure a new interpreter and we will use MicroPython for Raspberry Pi Pico. Then we will press on this button, install or update MicroPython and here we can select our Raspberry Pi, but first we will have to plug it in. There's also a little instruction, but I can also show you. Okay, so you have your little Pico here and you have plugged in the USB cable in your PC and now we will plug the other end into the Pi but you will need to hold down this button, the boot cell button so just press it and then you can put in the cable and now you can let go of the button okay now you should see on your PC the target volume this one is the Raspberry Pi then you will choose the MicroPython variant. I have the Pico W. And then you will just press install. Done. Now you can close the window. Press OK. And we should be connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico. And now we can control the LED. So to do that, we will write some code into this little window. First, we will need to import our pin library so we can access the GPIO LED pin. And then we will declare a variable. Okay, so what this does, it de declares a variable to LED for the pin LED and as you can see in our pinout this is the Raspberry Pi Pico we have the LED and it is the GPI 25 pin but we can also just use the LED word to change the value now we will just write LED dot value parentheses and we will add one we can save it by pressing Control S or just pressing this button and then pressing Raspberry Pi Pico. I will name my file blink onboard LED. Okay, yes. Okay, and now to run the code, you can just press F5 or this little green button. And you should see on the Raspberry Pi, the light is now blinking. Oh, not blinking, but it's turned on. To turn it off, we will change the value to zero again and of course press F5 again or run the script and as you can see it turned off again so to make it easier and not always change the value of it we can just write this kind of code toggle if you press F5 now it will turn on and it will turn off so you can control it with just 
a button and we can also do some other stuff we can create a timer we will have to import the timer um, library and then we have to create a variable with the timer function and at the bottom we will just write timer dot init the frequency will be one this is how fast it will blink the mode will be timer.periodic and the callback will be blink okay so what this does it will blink the timer in this frequency periodically you can also do one shot and it will do it only once but periodic we will use this function and then we can press run script and as you can see the led blinks in this frequency we can also also change the frequency to for example five and it will blink faster if we put in 10 it blinks even faster let's put in 50 for, ex for example and it's blinking so fast it's almost not turning off and on frequency 100 it's just fully on it's not even blinking anymore okay so now you can control your onboard LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico. I will put the code in the description so you can copy it or just copy it from the video and I hope you will have some fun with your Raspberry Pi Pico. Thanks for watching.